I can't find the voltage regulator on my Troy built Super Bronco 2005. I'll do all I can to help. How long have you been dealing with this? Today. Do you plan on doing the work yourself? Yes. Anything else we should know to help you best? Battery parasitic drain. How long has this been going on? And how severe is the problem? One week the battery goes dead after sitting new battery BTW. Parasitic voltage drain. Welcome to Just Answer Small Engines, let me try to help you. I don't know at all, but maybe together we can get you a satisfactory answer. Engine make and model number? Briggs and Stratton 31P777. Type 0293E2. The voltage regulator is a small square, with a single bolt through the center, on the sheet metal of the engine. We'll have two wires. See picture below. HTTPS colon slash images na dot SSL images Amazon dot com slash images slash I slash six ten P five eighty two URPL dot underscore SX three fifty five underscore dot JPG. This I was aware of the pick that is I can't seem to locate it on the engine. I looked on both engine sides and under the dash panel Troy built Super Bronco 2005. There are three types of alternators for this engine from the parts look up but did they show a couple different regulators. Could one of the alternators have an integrated regulator I was thinking. No, it can have a diode harness and no regulator. But it will be external to the stator slash alternator coil. What's your sense as far the parasitic drain is concerned? All the ECS switches are disconnected and have been for a few years. Ignition switch. New battery in there. Runs good after a charge to get it started. See regulator location and unplug it. It can drain the battery if diodes are bad. HTTP colon slash www.smallenginewarehouse.com slash 31 or 977 underscore 2 dot html. Center picture shows common regulator mounting. This looks like it mounted to the dipstick bracket. My bracket looks like it has some mounting provisions but nothing is mounted there, hence my confusion smile. It has to be there somewhere. I know maybe it fell off I'll take a picture of the setup the wiring is not the same. Okay. I'll have the pick in a moment. Can a diode harness be repaired presuming that's the problem? Is the key switch being bad plausible? The diode harness is a replaceable part, not repairable but easily replaced. Check this out. HTTP colon slash www.briggsandstratton.com slash misps slash rnt slash alternator underscore replacement dot pdf. Got that thanks would you know where that diode calls home so to speak. Where is the yellow slash red wires on the left going to? Into the harness wrap then back around the engine and I believe they terminate at the solenoid battery area. Those should be wires from the alternator, under the flywheel and goes to the regulator or the diode harness. I was rung up into the alternator area I think the diode is there I took a pick one moment. The pick is uploaded. Red wire shows what could be the diode. My thoughts as well where do I go from there? 
https colon slash www.quickyparts.com slash Briggs and Stratton slash OEM 3934566 Briggs and Stratton diode harness dot html. GCLID equals EA Cobb Schmidger 3M2 Uzi 1 with O3JCH3W8W underscore C keeps a bed KSJVD underscore Bway. You can check it, it will be open in one direction, closed in the other. An electrical check valve. That would be if it's functioning as designed. Open in one direction, closed in the opposite direction. If this was defective, would it drain the battery? Yes, it will drain the battery if it is open in both directions. Okay, thanks. That should do it, I think. Thanks. Thanks. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.